Hi! Welcome to our tutorial vlog. So, I'm Hannah and I'm here to discuss about writing. So, writing includes a step-by-step -step process that you have to follow. There's two types of writing, the pre-writing and the post-writing. Pre-writing is the formulation and organization of ideas preparatory to writing. So, the first step in pre-writing is choosing a topic. Brainstorming, pre-writing, and clustering are useful in generating a topic. Brainstorming is responding with ideas and concepts related to the subject or topic given. Pre-writing is simply writing ideas that you think of to generate ideas and later narrow them down into a specific concept. Clustering. Clustering provides a graphic presentation of your ideas allowing you to visualize their connections and relationships. The second step is to make sure that you focus on one idea that you're going to discuss thoroughly on your paper. The third step is you can narrow down your topic by focusing on one aspect that you are interested in. Once you have narrowed down your topic, you ponder on the reason why you are writing or you understand what the writing assignment is for. Understanding the assignment is also important because it will help you focus on your ideas on the assigned task. The last step in pre-writing are knowing your purpose and identifying your reader or audience. Determining your purpose will help you communicate clearly to your readers, which is the goal of your writing. On the other hand, knowing your audience helps establish a common ground with your readers. Knowledge of who your audience is, what they need, and what's their interest I will help you adjust your language, tone, and style in writing. Avoiding plagiarism. Plagiarism can be any of the following. Letter A. Deliberate copying of someone else's work in claiming that work to be his or her own. Letter B. Using somebody else's word or ideas without proper acknowledgement or citation. And let us see, copying the text without paraphrasing it. Paraphrasing is one of the ways to avoid plagiarism. It is rendering the essential ideas in text using your own words. Paraphrase materials are usually shorter than the original text. It is more detailed than the summary. Another way of avoid plagiarism is to directly quote the sentence or the paragraph that you will use in your paper. Quotation must be identical to the original text. A direct quote is preferred to the paraphrase when the author's ideas are so important that the paraphrasing them will change the essence of those ideas. What's up sa inyo lahat dyan? So, I want to introduce to you the writing and rewriting. First is, this is where you develop your thesis statement. So, this the claim or stand that you will develop in your paper so it is also controlling idea of your essay it gives your reader idea of what your paper is all about so this is the characteristic of good thesis statement a strong thesis statement should be offer debatable claim that you can prove or disprove on your essay the claim should be debatable enough to let your readers disagree or agree with you um, this is the example of not good thesis statement because there there is nothing contesting statement. So this he this is the example. Women and men are born to perform specific roles. It is just stating the women and men have specific roles to perform. Guess. Next is your analysis of your readers will be help improving your thesis statement. For instance, also there seems to be specific rules assigned to women and men. Those rules should never dictated or nor limit women and men to do other things that are beyond their assigned rules. So that's a the that's the characteristic then next is your next next task is support your thesis statement with sufficient evidence data and examples so more on 
para makapagpaniwalaan, mas nakakapaniwala. Um, nice, precise, and easy to understand. Some writers start organizing their draft by making an outline. So, outlining is a for me, it is a uh, most common because you can you can um, scrutinize your ideas by using this outlining or is that right uh, word scrutinize um, you can easily understand your idea by by using outlining so it is very effective because I use it uh, sometimes when I I want my I want to easily understand a specific topic. Oh. Okay, let's start the introduction. Introduction for academic essay. This provides a background of your topic, possess a question regarding the topic, and explain how the question is problematic and significant. And it gives the writer's thesis statement. This can be written by two paragraphs. The body. This is where the bulk of the essay is found and where you develop an answer or purpose, a solution to the thesis statement in the introduction. In the body, you have to support your main points and include the other details that would support your statement. You can outline your main points before writing the body. Uh, I want to introduce to you conclusion. So how to write a conclusion so you need to bring uh, bring together your points that comes up from your paper so you need to emphasize your final point then um, don't just summarize your your points um, make sure that you synthesize it and you synthesize the main points and emphasize your this statement so um last uh this is the most important don't um don't come up with a new topic because your readers is uh you need to focus on your paper not on other topics so thank you the post writing there are two processes in post writing revising and editing revising is receiving the entire draft so that the writer can deal with a large issue that must be revised before he or she deals with a line by line word by word issue involved in editing